Welcome to Shower Spares TV. So today we're going to talk about electric showers and why they're running hot and cold. Before we even talk about that, we need to think about it's an electric shower, it needs to be isolated from the mains electricity. Now, first of all, you have a you should have a pull cord switch in your bathroom which isolates the shower. That doesn't make it safe. You still need to isolate it from the mains fuse board. It should have a separate fuse. Any concerns on this, you should really consult an electrician before you attempt to fix your electric shower. So now if you're happy you've isolated your electric shower from the electricity supply, um, you can now think about reasons why they run hot and cold. It might not be as complicated as you think. I'll take the cover off now because I've isolated the electricity. Um, so that's now safe to work on. First reason why your shower could be going hot and cold is uh, a blocked handset. Uh, or a kink toes, uh, and then going a little bit more in depth, it could be a thermal switch which is sited on top of the heater tank. The other thing it could be is your heater tank uh, could be badly line scaled up. Most, most handsets have a rub clean spray plate these days, but if it hasn't, you'll just have a, a lot of holes in there which could be badly scaled up so the water can't get through quick enough. So, in which case, you need to descale your handset. Uh, we, we do do a descaler, which you can see on one of the links below, and uh, pop your handset in the descaler, uh, give it a good rub clean, and that will do the job with the handset. The other reason is your hose could be kinked, uh, which would cause the water to struggle to get out of your hose. A good way of testing this is to remove the handset from the hose, run the electric shower through the hose, and see if it runs hot and cold then. Okay, so one of the other reasons that your shower goes hot and cold uh, could be the thermal switch which is sited on top of the tank. This is a safety device that uh, cuts in and out, so if the water gets really hot in the tank, it'll cut out and the water will run cold, and then it should cut back in again. But if it's faulty, you can test for continuity across the thermal switch, which you do with a multimeter. I'll show you now. So you set your meter to a continuity test and you've got two tabs on, on top of the uh, TCO and there you go. I've got continuity so I know that that thermal switch is okay. If you've not got continuity then it's failed and you need to replace it. So that's the three most common faults uh, covered with electric showers. Um, you can also check out our blog to a bit more information on how electric showers work. Also, if you have further problems, i.e. with uh, electric shower leaking internally, then you can check out further videos on our YouTube channel.